Good morning everyone. Welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Lee and we have a sad case for you today. This little puppy was hit by a car and taken to one of the local pounds where she was going to be put to sleep. But one of the rescuers brought her to us to see if we can fix her. That's tail a, works. That's a sad face. Oh, I can't. But the tail works. Let me get over here. All right. And this little girl came in yesterday. This is Princess. And Princess, we x-rayed her leg because she was limping really, really badly. And she's got a broken leg. We got it fresh. It's about a five day old fracture. So we have a surgeon coming in in uh, three days uh, to fix that. So we'll show you the x-rays next. But anyway, Meet little princess. She is a sweet, sweet puppy. How old is she, Michelle? Uh, She's about been, five she months. Still has yeah. all of her baby teeth, right? I'm guessing about five months. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay, this is Princess's x ray, and this is the pelvis right here. That's the structure right there. This is the spine coming down this way, and there's her tail right here. This is her back legs, there's her hip joints right there. And basically what we've got here is we've got a separation at what's called the sacroiliac joint. That's where the spine hooks into the pelvis in these areas right here. That's been separated. This may be a bit of a separation, but that, that's also called a symphysis. And it's just like a, uh, it's just like a growth plate. It's like these lines right here. That's the way that the bones grow, and that's probably open right there. Just because she's a baby, it'll be filled in with bone later. You can see where this symphysis never really filled in completely, but um, that one, that one should as she ages. So we've got a fracture up there in the sacroiliac, and let me bring another one of her X-rays over here, and I'll show you another fracture she has. Princess also has a fracture at the end of her femur and this is her femur bone right here. She's fractured the end off of that. We'll get you another view of it. This is the bone that's broken. This is the femur. This is the upper leg bone. It's broken at the end. However, this fracture is only five days old, so it's not started trying to fuse yet. There's her kneecap out there to the end. This is the femur, what it normally should look like. And you can see this end part right here should be kicked out that way and instead it's pulled back around. All these muscles right in here hook on right here and they've pulled that back under. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a surgeon to come in and take this piece and straighten it out and then put pins in it to hold it into place and then he's going to go back over here in the pelvis where I showed you a while ago and he will take care of that as well. Here's our little princess girl. She's all anesthetized, got fluids going into her leg. The little beeper that you hear, that's the monitors that's hooked up to her tongue right there. That's just telling us how well her heart's going and how much oxygen she has in her blood. And here's her leg all shaved up. When the surgeons get here, they'll get it and probably do a little bit more shaving in specific areas and then get it all sterile prepped, get her all covered with drapes and all sterile and then we'll get her surgery done. You got that broken piece in position there, Dr. Harper? Yes, sir. Just getting it aligned and then put the uh, growth plate of the femur back onto the parent bone and uh, cross pin it and make sure we have good alignment for the patella to work functionally. Yep. Perfect. Well, Dr. Harper's got the leg all patched up. Now he's working on the pelvis. Can you give us just a quick overview yeah. of what you're doing, Dr. Harper? So on the left side of this dog's pelvis, 
where the pelvis attaches to the spinal column, it's called the sacroiliac joint, and that has basically split. And so we're gonna go back in there and reattach the sacrum, or excuse me, the ilial wing, which is part of the uh, pelvis, back to the spinal column at a joint called the sacroiliac joint. We're just gonna screw it back in place so this dog can recover quicker. So that's the plan. That's the plan, perfect. Sounds like a great plan. This dog's gonna be good as new. Thank you, Dr. Harper. Yes, sir. This is Prince's post-op. Dr. Harper went in here and put a pin right there and another pin right there. And the bone in there is so soft, he had to come and put a stabilizer pin all the way. That big long one's just to stabilize the fracture even more because the short ones went into such soft bone. Uh, very likely a problem with malnutrition because we really don't know, we don't have a history on this little girl. He also came up here on her pelvis where it had separated from her spine. He put a screw in there. You can't really tell this is a threaded screw. And he put another pin in right there. These three little things going across here, this row of things going across here are skin staples. And they're, they're metal and that's why they show up on an x-ray. Due to the fact that this is so soft and here the bones are so soft, she can't go out and romp and stomp like she would really like to. She's such an active puppy, but that would just crush this and the repair would fail. So, and, and not only there, but this up here too. So um, she's going to have to be leash walked. Gonna have to, anytime she goes out to do her business outside, she's gonna have to have a leash around her neck. And uh, as far as exercises, we're just gonna have to passively flex and extend these joints uh, twice daily for an extended period of time. But she should heal up just fine. Everything went together perfectly. Doing? Hmm? Feeling all right? The drugs work pretty good, don't they? Here we are, post-op. The saddest little face. She's still pretty dopey right now. So how's our patient doing here, She's Mallory? sleepy. This is uh, doing good. above and beyond the call of duty. She ate some stuff. Earlier. Oh, she ate? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're good. As long as, you don't, as long as you don't spoil it. <laughs> and this is day two after surgery. You can see little Princess is feeling a whole lot better today. Um, yesterday, she pretty much just lay around, which is expected because she had two really, really major surgeries. This is where her femur was fixed. That's where Dr. Harper fixed her femur right there. And this is where he went in to stabilize her pelvis. And uh, she's still a little bit uncomfortable. She's wanting to stand up right now. But Dr. Harper said that the bones, her bones were really, really soft. Uh, we usually exercise these dogs, but hers were so soft that we can't exercise her. So we're gonna have to do what's called passive range of motion exercises with her every day and when she goes outside she has to be on a leash all the time but the surgery went really really well and this this is like the sweetest little dog ever so i don't i don't know why people kick little dogs like her out and uh, have have them wander in the street because she is a sweetheart and i really think looking at those eyelids there they should have named her maybelline instead of princess because she's got some uh, really really impressive eyeliner there but uh, but you're a good puppy aren't you you are a very good puppy but we got her healing she's uh, doing a whole lot <laughs> she's doing a whole lot better today and we'll keep you posted on how she comes along anyway thanks thanks again for watching go ahead and here's little Miss Princess. We're gonna get the staples out of her leg today. This is from the fracture repair from the <laughs> distal femur. I had to fix go. my hand after that tail hit it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. These are these are skin staples that are in here. She's actually left a few in. She took most of them out by herself. Uh -uh. Hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang One on. more wild thing. Good girl, good girl. 
Uh, it's okay. Hang on. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. okay. And here is Miss Princess. And we are about three weeks out of surgery. Is that right? Something yes. like that. And we just now got all of the sutures out of her wounds back here and all the skin staples out. And you can see it healed up real nicely. The knee extends like it should. There's no crepitus or no grinding in here in the knee. And back up here where the hip was broken. What are you doing? She hasn't been able to do that. For two I haven't been, yeah, we just took a cone off of her head too. So she hasn't been able to chew in certain areas that are fun to chew in. But, uh, but this little girl's doing good. And um, this uh, will take quite a while for this thing to heal because her bones were so soft. But she's doing really, really well, and it's time for her to go to go to the Fosters and get a new get a new forever home. And it won't take long because she's got the personality that everybody loves. So we thank you very much for all your kind donations. You, you guys make this possible, and we thank you very much for it. So we'll see you next time on Vet Ranch. What do you think? I broke my leg, Kim. Oh, I've been thinking about it lately. She is a happy girl. I got all I want. I got all I want. Girl, when I got you. Miss Amy. What's with all this waiting? I got all I want. I got all I want. Girl, when I got you. All I'm asking is for a heartbeat Just a small town miracle And if the good Lord doesn't hear me I just wanted you to know You to know